Hello, the Internet Tough Monkey here once again. Hope you're all well. Thank you much for stopping by. Okay, it's my first gaming YouTube video of the new year, and I'm looking at this. Nigel Mansell's Grand Prix on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. It's uh, based on the uh, 1987 Grand Prix season, which if we go to the uh, practice session, that is the list of all the tracks that were available in the 1987 Formula One World Championship season, starting in Brazil, ending in Australia. And it didn't go well this season for Nigel Mansell. It didn't go well from the previous, previous season. His tyre exploded at Adelaide in 86, and in 87, this season, he was in contention for the World Championship all the way up to Japan when he binned it at what is now known as the Senna S's um, in his Williams Honda and broke his neck and was he either broke his neck or broke his back, something like that, and was out for the season and handed his uh, uh, then teammate Nelson Piquet the World Championship and uh, that was job done. Yeah, I remember that. I was old enough to remember that and I wasn't happy. Right, I've already started... Um, playing the game. I've already started the championship and I'm um, doing the five lap Grand Prix and I've already completed um, the Brazilian Grand Prix. I finished sixth. Back then you only got points down to sixth. You only got nine points for a win. Um, it was a track that I can't remember much about. It's the old version of Brazil, the, um, the Rio circuit. Couldn't remember much of it. This, this track though, I do remember. This is the San Marino Grand Prix. It's the old layout of it, so it's not got quite so many chicanes. I'm going to go through to qualifying straight away. Okay, now, your screen. You've got the top half of the screen is the, the action, the track, and the cars. And then more than the bottom half of the screen is all your telemetry, your cockpit. And this, this game was really my first racing simulator. I mean, some people, compared to what you've got now, they'll throw their hands up in the air, that's not a racing simulator. This was a racing simulator. Basically, it was a turbo temperature management simulator, this one, because, yes, you're playing a racing game, but you've got all this other stuff down at the bottom that you've got to work out and um, manage to get your car to the end. You've got turbo temperatures, turbo boost, water temperature, fuel, oil temperature, oil pressures. You've got your uh, lap times, average speeds down the bottom there. You'll put oh, pits in a moment, or there you go. Uh, this is a manual gear. You pay attention. Manual gearbox. So uh, controls are A for accelerate, Z for slow down, O for turn left, P for turn right, and to change gear, it's a manual gearbox. You've got to keep your finger on accelerator, slow down, keep your finger on the accelerator, and press spacebar to change up, and press Z to slow down, and spacebar to change down a gear, and. Um, You've got the turbo boost. On the right hand side there, halfway down the screen, you've got turbo boost. Now it's in turbo boost mode one at the moment. You've got four modes available to you. And the higher you put the turbo boost, the more you get through your fuel, which is at a premium on this game. It's not gonna get you to the end if you keep the turbo boost high. And even if you did have enough fuel, the engine would blow up long before you got there because you've got turbo temperatures to manage as well. And I'm not paying any attention, so I'm in the wrong gear completely. So you've got to manage the car to nurse the car to the end of the end of the event. Because these cars back then, they weren't particularly reliable. You could have a turbo and then after a couple of laps it would just detonate the car. So uh, very rarely did a car ever get to the end of the uh, end of the race, especially if you were driving like I'm driving at the moment. Anyway, I'm coming up somewhere to the end of the first lap. I've got the chicane section at the end of the, the lap before we turn on to the start finish. I've got a left under and then a right under. And then I shall turn the turbo boost up to four. Here we go, turbo boost come to four. My fuel consumption has gone through the roof. My temperatures are going to start climbing rapidly and I'm going for a, ooh, trying to keep it on the track around Tamburello. Uh, and I'm going for a qualifying lap. You get one warm up lap and then you get three, I think it's three hot laps. Uh, got the all wrong, this isn't going particularly well. Going up the hill towards Piratella, I think it is, a double left-hander. Left-hander coming up, there we go. So we're trying to set the uh, grid at the moment. This is Aqua Minerale at the bottom of the hill, a double right-hander, the second corner is tighter than the first. Then we're going up the hill towards a chicane, which I simply do not remember. And the chicane now goes right-left. Oh, there it goes left-right, left-right. I don't remember that at all. There's a right-hander, and then we've got the two left-handers at the bottom of the hill, which I think is Rivazza. 
and the before we start heading back towards the start finish via the chicane here. So we've got right, left, left, right. There we go. I think this is flat out if I remember. I'm gonna have to break a little bit because I've gone wide. I was going the wrong way. Onto the finish straight. And we have got a time of 83.96. Right, because we've got two laps left, I'll spin it forward and see where we are on the grid. We'll see you in a moment. All right then, we are on to the grid, and I think I qualified pole position. I didn't actually notice what it was. We're on the front row of the grid anyway. I think there's eight cars in this race. I think we've got, we had 30 seconds to start of the race, we've now got 20. So I'm gonna start the race in turbo boost mode one. See how we get on with that. Um, 10 seconds to start of the race. Let's see if we can stay in the lead, get the revs up, get ready to go. You've got to change the first as soon as the uh, lights go green, and then we've got... Oh, we've got a good start. We've got a good start. Although, car number two is absolutely leaving me for dust. Okay. I'm going to play the long game here. I'm going to make sure I've got enough fuel to get to the end. at the moment, it's not calculated the range, because the range is never long enough to go to the end of the race, unless you do some kind of fuel management, which at this point means, oh, sorry, down enough for Toza, which at this point means keeping the turbo boost set to what, just seeing how you get on. Oh, bad gear change there. To Piratella, the car riding on the gearbox there. Oh, got well, about a second left-hander. Right, going down to Aquamino Rale, right-hander, then a tight right-hander. Ooh, got that wrong. Okay, I think, are we third? I think we're third. Okay, through the chicane, which I don't remember at all. And left, right again. Somewhere, there we go. Coming up to the double left under that, so slow the car down, I will spin it there. Double left under coming up. Sure you can do this flat. If you get it right, so it's right, left, left, right, left, right flat, left, there we go, right. Okay, well, I've been left for dead, haven't I? Oh, here we go, here we go, they're in the distance. Car number three in the distance now. I'll go right through Tamborella. That's not the place to do that. Right into the still nerve she came, I think. Tight left hander at Toza, let's get that right, that's not been that. Oh, he's left me, absolutely left me. Right. Piratella, double left hander. Ooh, ooh! Oh, right. Now can I get him before Aqua Minerale? He's gonna cut me off, isn't he? Oh, that's swine. Oh, that's knocking me up. Good work. Not do nothing. That's car. Car behind is catching up as well. Ooh. Keep it on the black stuff. Right, it's a five lap race, isn't it? Right. Ooh. It's as I thought it would be. At some point, I'm going to use my turbo, but not just yet. I'm actually looking for you. Oh, I'm going right there. I'm having a bit of a mare here, aren't I? Okay. He's telling me to go into the pits, doesn't it? Pit suggests you stop for tyre. No, I'm not on a five lap race. It doesn't actually tell you your tyre wear, does it? Although, stop with us. Does that just say someone stop for pits? Ooh, 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 ooh. Got that wrong. So I'm gonna stop for tyres. I've got no idea if we're in the lead or what we're doing here at the moment. 
Because I want to read. There's, there's things going on down at the bottom. Did it say I'm now fourth? But it's so far down the bottom of the screen, you can't see it. You take your eyes off the, that for a... What's happening for a moment and you're into the grass. Alright, get the chicane right. Need to get the right. Close enough. Engine's misfiring. What attempt? What? I've got a range of 17.47 miles or kilometres and 15 kilometres to the finish line. Okay, so we're we're good there. But why is my water temperature so high? Is that because I'm just revving the nuts off it too much? But it isn't. It? I'm talking to you, I'm not really paying much attention to what I'm doing. Oh! That's an example of me not paying attention. Right. Pit suggests you stop for tyres. No, we've got two laps to go. Oh, hello! Whoa, 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 whoa! Where did he come from? <laughs> Where did he come from? <laughs> did he just come out of the pits or something? I didn't see him at all. Too late to do anything. genuinely got no clue where I am in this race. I'm not in the lead, I know that. There's no chance of me being in the lead. Right, I'm, go I'm just going to concentrate for a, a lap and a half to the end of the race and just see where we end up. Engine misfiring. Water temperature's critical, what can I do about that? Car 8 has stopped the tyres. Who's that? Leader. Right, so I think we've got enough fuel to get to the finish, but I'll see what it see what happens after we go across the finish line. It'll, Update the range for me. Car six has stopped the tyres. So are they in front of me? Right, what's the range like? I'm going to put it up to turbo boost three. Right, nine seconds behind. Oh, another guy who's diving all over the place. Where did he come from? Okay, I've overtaken car six, but who was he? Right, toast. So slow it down, slow it down. No one's in it. What? 20 seconds ahead of car? Whatever car that was. I've got no idea what position I'm in at all. Don't know if I'm first, don't know if I'm last. Somewhere in between. Ooh, someone in the distance, who's that? Car 8. Who's that? Is he... is that for position? I don't know! I've overtaken car 8. Brilliant. Wonderful. Tell me my position, please. I've got no idea. I'm about, oh, I'm about to run out of fuel! Oh, good God! I've already got... Ah, I'm going to run out of fuel! I've run out of fuel now. If I remember rightly, you can... You can rock the car left and right. Going backwards. It's all gone wrong two corners from the finish. Oil temperature critical, water temperature critical. Oh my good grief, there's a car coming up behind me. Oh matron. I've got I've acquired 0.4 litres of fuel from somewhere. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's up or down anymore. I don't know what's right or wrong. Absolutely no clue what I've done there. Fourth! I finished fourth! How did that happen? I must be an overtake. I'm, three cars overtook me on that last little section. Now I might have won that if I had to run out of fuel. Well, there you go. That. That is Nigel Mansell's Grand Prix on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. And that was just one race out of 
16 races and I'm a ball of sweat and I'm gonna go and cry in the corner somewhere. So uh, on that bombshell, I shall see you on the next video. Thank you. Please.